Okay, so let's take what we've learned and try and build a simple model based on parametric or primitive objects. I've got a bar stool in mind, and I'm just going to jump right in. First, let's drop a cylinder into the scene. And let's make it 200 by 150. Let's call this seat. Now let's come up to the deformers. And these are all ways that we can deform our objects in one way or another. So I'm going to grab the bulge deformer. And I want to try to make sure that this bulge deformer fits around this seat pretty well. So I'm going to go into my four-way view so I can see it a little better. And I'm going to adjust the size of the bulge deformer. Okay, so that should do. Now I need to take the bulge deformer and put it underneath the seat to make it a child of the seat object. Then we'll just take the strength up to something like 12 looks good. Something else I want to do while I have the seat here is I want to go over to the caps, turn on fillet. I'm going to turn the segments down to 1 and the radius maybe 12. So that looks pretty good. Let's just get a quick render of that. I think it's a believable seat. Now while I'm working, I don't want to have to look at this deformer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the top traffic light off to red so that it goes away, but it's still affecting the seat object. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cylinder in here. I'm going to call this leg 01. I'm going to go to the top view. I'm going to drag this over to the left. I'm going to take the radius down to 20 and take the height to 1000. Now if I go in my side view, I'm just going to pull this down maybe a little further until we get something like that. All right, looks good so far. Next, I want to grab another deformer. This time I'm going to grab the Bend Deformer. Again, let me go to my top view. And if you don't remember, I'm middle mouse clicking to go from view to view. Let's take the Bend size down. Try to get it to 40, 250, 50. That's about right. Go into another view. Okay. Pull this down for a second. I'm going to come into the perspective view. And I'm going to turn the strength to 50%. Now nothing's happening right now. That's because I don't have the bend deformer underneath the leg object. Now right now it's trying to bend the leg, but it can't because we don't have any segments in the leg to allow it to bend. So let me turn on the lines so we can kind of see what's going on. Let me grab my leg start to apply some height segments to it. Now let me actually take the bend deformer and pull that up until we get just a slight bend in there. Something about like that. Let's take a render. Might even want to put a few more segments in here. Okay, I'm okay with that. Next, I want to do the same thing that I did before with the bend. I want to turn the traffic light on top to red so I don't have to look at that all day. Okay, I'm getting there. Next, I want to hold Control or Command on a Mac and click on the leg and drag down to duplicate it. Then I'm going to middle mouse click, go to the top view, go to the leg, the coordinates, and change the heading to 180. So let's just flip that around. Now I'm going to move that over to the other side. Just kind of eyeball it. Let's go over here. Make sure everything looks right. Okay. Let's go back to the top view. Lego 1 selected again. I'm going to duplicate it. This time on the coordinate tab, I'm going to change this to negative 90. And I'm going to move this up about there. Take a look at that. And that's looking right. I'm going to duplicate this one again. Go to the top view. Change this to 90. Come up here. 
pull it down. So we have something about like that. And now we have our bar stool starting to take form. Now I'm going to grab these four legs and I'm going to put them into a null by Alt or Option on a Mac and clicking G on my keyboard. And I'm just going to call this legs. Just kind of keeping this object manager area kind of tidy. We do a quick little render here and see where we're at. Next thing I want to do is create a torus. Go to the top view, click my torus, come to the attributes manager, and on the object, let's change the radius to 133, and the pipe radius will take that to 15. Now, if we come over here, Take a look at that in the perspective view. Go to the coordinates. Let's take this down in Y. About minus 400. Okay. We'll rename this Top Torus. Now I'm going to Control click or Command on a Mac. Pull down to duplicate it. Call this Bottom Torus. And for the bottom torus, I'm going to go to the Object tab, change the radius to about 197. Come over to the Coordinates tab, and move this down to minus 720. So we've got that going on. Do a quick render. There we go. Next thing I want to do is grab a capsule. I'm going to come up to the top view again. I'm going to move the capsule over. So basically, it's in the middle of the leg. I'll come over to the Object tab, take the radius down to 25, and the height to 100. Now if we come over here, we want to just take that down in Y, and frame it up with O on the keyboard. Pull that up a little bit. We have something like that. Next, I want to duplicate this three times. Go up to the top, move this one over here, duplicate again, let's control or command on the Mac, just sort of eyeball it, and duplicate one more time, and pull that one down. So now if we go back to the perspective view, we're all set up. Okay, now let's just take a look and see what we've got. So there is the finished bar stool. Now I went ahead and created another scene and put some materials and some lights and some reflective things in the scene. And this is what it looks like. Modeling with primitives can be fun and a quick modeling solution as long as the project is not too complex. Look around when you're out next time and notice how many objects you run into every day are built from simple primitives.